Hi everyone, Fyra here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a angled arch, angling out. See, now this isn't a new method; it's just a variation on one Tenma showed on cutting out a 45 degree circle or ring. So take my arch, I want it one off the ground, then I'm just going to paste it in a line. And I'm going to wish I moved my mouse cursor first. I don't need too many, but more is probably better for you. More margin of error. Right, then you need to switch to the line tool and jump up in size till it goes across your whole archway. Click on the ground. Try and click on the ground anyway. And the next one, you shift click. lift up into the air until it's just above the your archway and pull it towards you and just adjust across until you get whichever angle you desire and oh make sure you're on a material that's different from your archway for this stage right, click on you get this big block of wood. Right. Now we're only interested in the archway, so just copy out this section. I think that's everything. So just control Z. Control C and Control V to paste it out. Just check you have have it all. Now I'm actually missing the top voxel. So delete that. Just extend my selection box one. And now it's all there. Right. Get rid of that again and get rid of line tool mess. In case this doesn't work, you, it's easier if you've got rid of that to start again. So, take this out, and I need to angle the bit I'm cutting away up and to either the east or the south. So, in east in this instance, and just select the wood here from the line tool, and just delete it. And it'll leave your archway there. Just a matter of turning your archway the right way up. So there we go, nice clean angled archway. Uh, if you wanted it to come out on both sides, you can. Just paste on, mirror it across, and paste it on the other side. And paste without air, so I don't delete some of my curve on this side. And 
as you can see it's got a lovely clean finish uh, bit of a lie there I've obviously picked this material because it apart from having high contrast with the wood it also doesn't show artifacts and the textures because although this is smooth nice sharp edge it will with a lot of textures show some distortions particularly the shiny metal ones most of the plain wood ones will work most of the stone ones will work but you just have to try see which ones you're willing to put up with so there's a sandstone brick looks perfectly clean so hope that was helpful to you